loaded, sending two rounds. Demolished him. Hey guys, Razbori here with another video. Today I'm bringing you a quick and easy guide to understanding artillery and how it let loose and how you could be effective on the battlefield. Artillery and Hell Loose can be incredibly effective in combat if used correctly or incredibly ineffective if used incorrectly. A few things to keep in mind here are the 150mm howitzer guns in Hell Loose do use team resources, specifically with munitions. When you fire high explosive rounds, they utilize three munitions. And when you use smoke rounds, it's five munitions per round. This guide will help you have a general understanding of how artillery works and how you can have a good effect on target. If you like this guide, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see live tutorials, check out my Twitch and Discord link in bio. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, soldier. Okay, so artillery is always found at the middle of the, uh, of the map here, um, and it's always here. And enemies will be like dead center here as well. So when you hop into the arty, you're going to see here and you're going to see on the left hand side, you have the uh, oh, meters and then you have the mills on the bottom right. You have the uh, high explosive or smoke, the, the, the reloader. Hang on one second. Hop out real quick. So the reloader yep, yeah. can uh, can choose what they want to reload and they can pick one or two. Uh, again, arty is fully controlled by infantry. So when you see those already coming down, this is this is infantry. The, no one does that for anyone else. It's infantry specifically. So you switch from one and two, and it's just like how you would reload like a tank round. So I'll show you this one real quick. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So here, right. so you can switch one and two, and you'll see that toggle on the bottom right here. So that one we have loaded with HE, right? So this one, I, I'll hit R, and I'll reload uh, smoke. So you have smoke on this one, right? So we'll hop back on this one, and we'll go ahead and take a look. The best part is to be a squad leader when you do this, um, or you have a squad leader that's marking specifically. What you do is you're, again, as a squad leader, you either mark it for your team or you're, you're you, as you, you have someone mark it for you, right? <laughs> that's Scav trying to kill me. Um, so say we want to go ahead and send some already on the point, right? Points over here. The max range is this. Oh, actually, let me move my camera. Hang on. Here we go. So the max range is 1600 meters here. And it'll tell you the uh, the mill uh, that you'll have to go ahead and adjust for your aim. So your aim here will be on the bottom right and it'll show you the degrees that you're turning to, okay? So you wanna go ahead and just line the shot up and make sure you're hitting the point. So say I wanna go ahead and hit right here. It has a random deviation as well of about like 20 meters or so. So you're never gonna hit exactly where it is every time, but you're gonna hit roughly the same spot. So um, it should be pretty close though. So let's say we want to hit this exact spot. We are, we're going to put an observe mark. So we have an observe mark here. So my distance is 1,053 meters. So I need to go ahead and look at this to go ahead and manage how far I need to go ahead and aim. Or what I highly recommend is this. You can get online a artillery calculator. This will help you understand how far you need to go ahead and aim. So I know that my aim has to be 1,053 meters. So what I do is I come over here and I would go ahead and pick, this is a, well, I like to keep it simple because some of these are just like, let's, okay, here we go. So this is an easy one. Okay, we're not Russian. The Russian one's a little different, but we know we're, uh, again, I forgot already, uh, 1,053 meters, right? So I come over here and I type in 1,053 and it'll tell me the elevation I need is 752. I recommend being a squad leader. The reason being is because, like, if you're hitting friendlies and stuff, you'll know, but you won't know, like, what the command chat's saying. So you want to work with your team as much as possible. We'll, we'll aim right here, okay? Let's say this is where our commander or our squad leader is telling us to aim. So 1,188, right? So I come over here. I type in 1,188. Perfect. 720 is my aim. So I need to come over here, and I need to go ahead and rotate and adjust for that, Okay. So first, I can't see that far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move the gun. You can also hop into this one, which is actually faster, and turn the entire gun just using the A, A, uh, A and D menu, right? So I'm moving it over, moving it over. If you hit T as in Tom, you're gonna see those icons, super helpful, by the way, 
flash on and off, so I can toggle that myself. So if, say, the observe mark goes away after a while, hit T to go ahead and pop that back up, okay? So you're here. So then hit F1 to hop back in. So now on my line, I have it lined up exactly on that mark, okay? So now I need to look back at my elevation. So the elevation says it was 720, right? Uh, 720 for 1,188, 720. So we need to go ahead and adjust this elevation here to 720. So let's do that. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and use up or down. So elevation of 720, we're gonna need to go up and you'll see my elevation on the bottom right moving up as we go. It's right here. And again, we're aiming for 1,188. Looking for 720 mils. <coughs> Here we go. Six, 700. I'm napped in the dirt, ready to get already? Hell yeah. Okay, so 720. So we're aiming right here. Check our crosshair. We're good. So we'll send one round. Already does take a few minutes or a few seconds to hit. So we're sending it. It's coming across the map as fast as possible. And here we go sitting right there it takes about 20 seconds i don't know maybe if i left it it doesn't go oh no there it is yeah 20 second delivery time so there it is so we missed him by an inch again it has about 20 meter de uh deviation so he's gonna move over <coughs> so let's go ahead and see if we can hit him again so again we're gonna hop on the gun We'll need to make sure it's reloaded. So we'll reload here. We're loading HE again. Hop in the main seat. Still on target, 720. We're gonna send it again. Let's go ahead and see if we can see him. And we're coming over here to take a look. So Scabby is right over here. There he is. About a 20 meter deviation, so we'll see if it hits, but he's gonna be right there. So you'll hear it come in. Demolished them. Doing 360s over here. So that is how Artie works. So Scab, if you can go back, this time we're gonna actually sit in the in the gun and you're gonna listen to see I know to see how it sounds when the uh when you get a kill actually on the gun. You can hear there a little bit. I got a hit marker. Like it sounds like almost like a like a like a bullet hitting like uh like torso or something like that. So he's gonna get back to that same spot. But this time, we're gonna go ahead and listen really carefully for the uh, for the sound of the kill. The kill sound is gonna sound like a little dangle of dog tags. It's gonna sound like a little bit of dog tags jingling when you when you get a kill. So we're loaded, ready to fire, firing. All right, here we go. Waiting. Listen very carefully. Missed again, I think. All right, here, that was it. Listen for, for a hit marker again. It's gonna sound like a jingle. You'll hear it here in about 20 seconds. All right, listen very carefully. We're waiting for it. That's the sound. So that's how you know you got a kill. Again, if you start getting those pings, you're hitting targets. So make sure you go ahead and if you hit like a, 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 a big patch of infantry, like you're hearing them, you're also wanting to look at your personal stats here while you're doing arty and seeing the infantry kills that you're getting. That way you can see and like adjust your aim because you can almost feel it out as you get good with arty and and understand where they are just by hearing the pings over and over and, and and feeling it out that way so that's how you do already again i highly suggest using a uh a calculator that way you can just be very specific well so we'll fly all the way over there and i'll show you uh how it sounds coming in but it's fucking terrifying so 772 is our number <coughs> we're loaded sending two rounds 
I'll go fully silent here as well, so you guys can hear how it sounds in too. There it is. And you see that second shot zeroed right in. The first shot hit a little off, about 20 meters. Second shot hit right in the trench line. So that's kind of how it works and how uh, Artie is utilized in the game, kind of hitting on target and stuff like that.